Greetings, friends, family, and loved ones. This is Nay, and as this is entitled, it's flu season. Right now, I'd like to take this moment and opportunity to be anti-flu shot and promote the intake of different key nutrients. So, with that said, I would like to actually quote a very disturbing and alarming U.S. official's statement, and it quotes as such. This year's vaccine appears to cause a higher than usual rate of seizures in children. Again, this year's vaccine appears to cause a higher than usual rate of seizures in children. I mean, just years ago, the immune suppressed seniors, kids with different neurological issues, pregnant and the elder population was advised not to get the vaccine. Now the claim is that it's safe for everyone. My question is, what all of a sudden happened that made it safe for everyone? Well, what I like to promote is boosting the immunity without injecting harmful and ineffective vaccines, toxins, poisons, and chemicals in the body. You know, believe it or not, what's being injected within the body is very much living. And it's a presumption or speculation that's being taken when these drugs are being devised. Because the flu virus actually mutates. So the hypotenuse made is, this may successfully come back this year's flu vaccine. Flu virus, brother. Or it may not. So with that said, another alarming fact, but again, very factual, is that vitamin D is more effective fighting the flu than vaccines. Again, vitamin D is more effective fighting the flu than the vaccines. So, key nutrients versus the flu. Makes sense, right? Because health and healing comes from within. So a nice dosage of vitamin D3 to intake for the average adult is anywhere between three to 5,000 units per day during the summer and up to 10 units per day during the winter. And the reason for upping the units during the winter season is simply because there's not as much sun out in the winter as it is in the summer. And the sun is a wonderful and natural method of receiving vitamin D. And the method at which the body, the body intakes and utilizes vitamin D from the sun is called vitamin D synthesis. And unfortunately, the more melon that one has, the less of this process takes place. This was just nature's very own protection against the sun. Vitamin D actually helps with bone and teeth health. A well-regulated immune system. And the decreased risk of different cardiovascular diseases. Just to name a few, of course. And I also found more supporting research which explains that the lack of vitamin D the lack of vitamin D synthesis is a possible explanation for high rates of influenza infection during the winter. Again, the lack of vitamin D synthesis is a possible explanation for a high rates of influenza infection during the winter. And the actual, it's a sad commentary, but 95 percent of children born in the US is actually vitamin D deficient and just to take a little side note there are some drugs which were proven to cause the brain to stop working properly aka cognitive impairment or brain damage Tylenol PM and Tylenol cold and flu to name a few and to be honest more people actually die from Advil and Tylenol in the flu but of course none of us are aware of this because out-of-date stats and data are being compiled well to wrap up my promotion of intake and more key nutrients is keeping up a nicely functioning nervous system is extremely important and our key nutrients help with this with a poor nervous system health it creates a lack of flow 
from our brain to organ and tissue. Peace. Actually, before I wrap up this video, I can recall just recently when I had my last checkup. And while I was in the waiting room, different nurse practitioners actually came by and asked if anybody was interested in the virus, the um, flu shot. I was very shocked at some of the responses. There was actually a few informed individuals who said things such as, when I get the flu shot, I actually get sick. So no thanks. Mm-hmm.